Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are having another challenging question from exponential equations. The given equation is 4 raised to the power square root 27x over 16 minus 2 raised to the power square root 3x over 4 equal to 60. And we'll be solving for the real values of x only. So let's get it started with our exponents. I will be writing our power or exponent as 27 we can write 9 times 3 so 9 can be written as 3 square and then 3 and then x denominator 16 is the square of 4 minus 2 raised to the power the square root of 3x will be as it is and denominator 4 will be square of 2 right hand side 60 it is. Now I will consider all the square numbers outside of this square root sign by writing their base number only. So this will be outside here this 2 will be in the denominator. So let me write 4 raised to the power 3 over 4 times square root 3x minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 2 times square root 3x. Right hand side is 60. Now I will write one exponential property a power b times c. It is equal to a power b whole power c and it is also equal to a power c whole power b also. So let us apply here. So I can write 4 raised to the power 1 over 4. And then whole power is 3 times square root 3x minus 2 raised to the power 1 over 2. And then I will write our exponent is square root 3x. Right hand side is 60. Now 4 power 1 over 4 and 2 power 1 over 2. Let me write here 4 power 1 over 4 whole power is 3 times square root 3x minus 2 power 1 over 2 whole power is square root 3x right hand side is 60. Now we know that 4 power 1 over 4 and 2 power 1 over 2 both values are equal. How it is? 4 power 1 over 4. We can write base 4 as 2 square power is 1 over 4. Now using the same exponential property, I can take the product of both the exponents. So it will become 2 power half, which is a square root 2. So 4 power 1 over 4, it is same as a square root. So let us rewrite our equation with common base root 2 whole power 3 root 3x three minus root 2 whole power root 3x. Right hand side is 60. Now using same exponential property I can write root 2 power root 3x and then whole cube. This 3 will be at the place of c. Now this value is square root 2 square root 3x equal to 60. Now substitution time I will consider root 2 power root 3x is equal to a. So this will become a cube. Here it is a. So let me write one cubic equation. Let me write our consideration or substitution root 2 power it was root 3x equal to a. Condition on a will be a should be greater than 0. So I can write our equation as a cube minus a equal to 60. Take all the terms to one side a cube minus a minus 60 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation I will use method of factorization. So I can see this minus 60. I will split a cube minus a 
minus 60 can be written as minus 64 plus 4 equal to 0. Now a cube minus 64 and then minus a plus 4 equal to 0. Now 64 can be written as 4 cube. Now minus 1 I will take common. So it will give us a minus 4 in the bracket. Now here a q minus b q formula is on. Let us apply a minus 4 in other bracket a square plus 4a plus 16 and then we have a minus 4 equal to 0. Now a minus 4 a minus 4. Let us take common. So in bracket a square plus 4a plus 16 minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will write a minus 4 times a square plus 4a plus 15. a minus 4 times a square plus 4a plus 15 equal to 0. Remember our substitution was root 2 power root 3x. This was our a. Now I can write from here either a minus 4 will be 0 or a square plus 4a plus 15 equal to 0. So let us solve one by one. From the first equation I can conclude a should be equal to 4. From the second quadratic equation we can only check discriminant. Discriminant value will be b square minus 4ac. So b it is 4. So 4 is square minus 4 times a. a is the coefficient of small a square it is 1. c is constant term it is 15. So 4 is square is 16 minus 60. This value will come out minus 44 because of discriminant negative. It will generate complex solutions. So easily we can reject this quadratic equation. So let me write here rejected as we are looking for real solutions. So a equal to 4 will be accepted 1. Now a was our substitution root 2 power root 3 times x. Let me write a equal to root 2 power square root of 3x equal to 4. Now this 4 can be written as 2 square. Now I can write here 2 square as 2 power 1 by 2 and then 4. Still it is 2. Now this 2 power 1 by 2 is root 2. So it is root 2 power 4. Left hand side is root 2 power root 3x. Now we can see bases are same. So our exponent should be equal to each other. So I will write root 3x equal to 4. Squaring both sides, we can write 3x will become 16. Dividing by 3 both sides, x will be equal to 16 divided by 3. And this is our answer. Let's cross examine whether it is true or not. So I will be writing x is equal to let me write x is equal to 16 over 3 and this is verification. Let's begin with LHS only. So I will write LHS. Now 4 raised to the power. Let me write 4 raised to the power 27 divided by 16. Now I will write x. x is 16 over 3. 
So I will write here times 16 and I will write here times 3. First exponent is over minus 2 raised to the power square root. Let me write 3 over 4. Now x 16 over 3. Now we can cancel this 3 and 3. We can cancel 4 and 16 by writing 4 over there. We can cancel 16 and 16. We can cancel 3 and 27 by writing 9 over there. So it is left 4 raised to the power is square root 9 minus 2 raised to the power is square root 4. It will give us 4 raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power 2. 4 power 3 is 64. 2 power 2 is 4. 64 minus 4 is 60 which is our RHS hence verified. So x is equal to 16 over 3 is true and verified solution and this brings the end of this video. Do not forget friends to like share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.